Hey boys, we are enjoying. This is going to be a completely rough, raw, unedited, sort of spontaneous videos of us drinking beer, I guess. Well, not technically beer. No? What is it? What are we drinking, Alan? Yeah, <laughs> you can see that beautiful looking beverage is a sweet mead by Paul Finney. We know absolutely nothing about it except the brew date. Uh, March this year, so it's four and a half months old. And I must admit that it's really smooth. There's a little bit of alcohol on the nose, but on the palate, wow. Plenty of sweetness on the nose. That's so good. It's about, oh no idea, but it's got to be 10%. <laughs> well, at this time, I will maybe an hour before I sleep percent. So it's 10% plus, um, <laughs> so hence the 10 million glasses. Um, the honey is really intense, like sucking on a honey coming in this, or for me it is, yeah. or getting a scraping of honey out of a jar and just licking it off the knife or something. Fantastic flavours. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's slightly carbonated. Yeah, fantastic. I'd give that a 9 out of 10. It's British, so 8.5. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll cut it there because we'll probably do one or two more videos. Cheers guys. Cheers boys. As well as drinking, we're also going to be making some homemade pizza. So the next one going into the oven is a mozzarella, basil and sun-dried tomato. We've got some dip and chips, so yeah, good times. Okay, first pizza out of the oven is a Hawaiian ham, pineapple and cheese. <laughs> Cut. Hey guys, Dean and Alan back for another budget beer review. Well, not, not even a beer review, is it? A beer tasting. Yep. This time we've got Matt Reed from Hamilton. It's his house porter. Uh, four and a half percent. Beautiful looking beer. It's got a nice, nice and clear. I can notice that holding up to the light. Um, Columbus hops, not getting a lot of hops on the nose, but I guess that could be expected with the with the Columbus. But definitely a lot more malts on the nose. Yeah, yeah. But a very, very nice um, malt flavour. Getting a little bit of the chocolate and um, I think um, Matt's used brown malt as well. Very easy drinking. Yeah, yeah, I think um, Matt's given us some notes and he said it's a sessionable house porter. And that uh, exactly what it is. This is a beer that you could drink several glasses of, no problems at all. Maybe not quite off to uh, a big mead. Mm. But fantastic, that's going down a real tree. Beautiful, no, no off um, aromas or anything. No, that uh, does, does what it says. What, it's, what it says on the bottle. No, that's good, Matt. Cheers, thanks for this. Sorry, it's not a proper review, but um, we're really enjoying it, so thank you very much. Over and out. Okay, here's pizza number, I think this is pizza number four. This is mushroom and mozzarella with sun dried tomato base. Very nice. Just going to flip the camera around for another professional beer review. Cheers guys, we, beautiful looking beer, we are trying Sean Gerrard's US Cream Ale, um, this is the first time I think both of us have tried a cream ale, yep. had no idea of what it was going to taste like, um, I had sort of images of that sort of creamy sort of corn mouthfeel and Quite texture, silky, yeah, yeah silky. silky. But not, not so much, to be honest, on the taste. Um, but a fan, awesome beer. It's super clear. It's got carapils, pale malt, um, abbey malt, flat corn. I don't know what sort of proportions, but uh, oh, and Cascade has been hot with Cascade. Yep. 45 minutes, 60, 45, and 2. Yep, 18 IBUs, so it's quite lowly, well it's quite low in bitterness isn't it, 18? Yeah. But it's got a, a lot of, um, some really nice hop character coming off the top. A lot of hop, uh, late hop additions. Basically yeah. if you guys have eaten juicy fruit bubblegum, that's what it tastes like. That's nice. 
It's, um, I think you said before, it's got a, almost a lager-esque sort of um, feel to it. Very light, very dry, very yep. easy drinking. It's really nice, Sean. Very, very it's going, tasty. Yeah, this would be awesome, you know, outside on a hot day. Or oh, yes. go down a treat. After mowing the lawn? Or yeah. you would, this wouldn't even touch the sides, it just go straight down. <laughs> Quite effervescent as well on the tongue. But I wouldn't say it's over carbonated, but it's got sort of like an effervescence there, yeah. yeah, but it's not from over carbonation. No. Mm. Really, really good, dude. Thank you very Cheers much. Cheers for that, Sean. We really appreciate it. And I'm glad I got to share the bottle rather than doing my lonely old man routine and drinking by myself. Okay, this was a beer that Alan and I were going to try, but unfortunately, I think there may be a problem with it. It's been. Uh, foaming away for about 15 minutes yeah. so we won't mention any names we don't want to embarrass the brewer but uh, we might leave this one and move on to the next one cheers guys <laughs> cheers guys we are back for another mead review this time we are trying Grant Baker's Orange Me clocking in a healthy 12%. Beautifully clear, isn't it? Oh, Cheers, Alan. Cheers, Dean. Cheers, boys. Look at the clarity on that. So we'll just have a bit of a sniff in our taste. And... Ooh, definitely smell the alcohol coming off the top. And getting the, getting the orange, to me it's sort of um, like an orange rind. Sort yeah. Of, yeah. Like freshly grind, yeah, grind, grated <laughs> orange. Ooh, lordy, <laughs> this is our second mead. <laughs> second mead, few beers in between here and there. But yeah, that's a beautiful aroma on it. In some ways, it's similar to the smell of Paul Finney's mead, without the sweet, without the sweetness. Yeah, made a little bit more pungent in the orange yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, boys. Cheers, guys. Goes down really well. Really smooth. Yep. It's a nice sipping beer. Beer. Mead. But when I taste it, the first thing that comes to mind is orange hubba bubba bubble gum. Yep. It tastes exactly like that. And um, both Liz and Sharon. Sharon both said the same thing. And yeah, they don't like that. Uh, yeah, they're, they're sort of, what would we call it? <laughs> they, they, they described it as those cheap plastic Chinese shoes that they got when they were younger. <laughs> Dory Brown, this won't ever make it into the final cut. Maybe, but that's what they said. <laughs> Me and Dean, we like it. Yeah, we, we love it. I mean, we're sipping this nicely. This and uh, Paul Finney's mead has um, mm. been going down a treat. Two, two fantastic meads. Mm, they really hit the spot. It's really got me amped up to try and make one at some point. Mm. Mm, that's good. A real nice intense kick at the beginning with the alcohol and the orange. It smooths away really, really yeah. nicely. No alcohol burn at all. It's quite a, I get what you mean, it's like a, quite a sharp up front, like a bit of a burn, but then it mm -hmm. smooths out. And it's just that orange hubba bubba kick. Yeah. It's so good. Smooth. I would say it's, it's not too thin, it's not too thick, it's not syrupy, it's just easy no, it's drinking. Fantastic. Okay guys, that's it for another super professional... Drunken sip it. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Cheers guys, this may be the last one you see. Oh yes. Okay. Over and out. Thanks for Cheers watching. Cheers guys. See ya.